who gives voice to God's Word we do. we do that's how we walk with God in the earth we speak oh, his word and the angels hearken to it and do it the Holy Ghost Holy is God, God in, in the earth today and you walk with him the by Father saying words my name is Jesus Andrew Hemstrom right. and you're joining us if this is your first time here Ghost make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you then consider becoming a partner with us yeah. Acts chapter 24 verse 14 but this I confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy that's heresy so what's that next word worship. worship so worship I the God of my fathers believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets that's me I worship the God of my fathers and I believe all that was written in the law and in the prophets and in the New Testament right so back off this I confess but it's actually a way that other people would call heresy but if you do worship God the Spirit say God the Spirit, God the Spirit. you know God is a spirit yes. if you worship God the Spirit you are worshiping the Holy Ghost as God you are therefore a Holy Ghost worshiper right. say I am, I am a Holy Ghost worshiper Holy John 4 24 says God is a spirit. spirit not a bush not a tree God is a spirit and they that worship him say they that they. so they that worship him they're a specific group of people they that worship who God the Spirit God is the Spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth say I'm a they that yep. Revelation chapter 22 verse 8 and I John saw these things and heard them and when I had heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things verse 9 then saith he unto me see thou do it not for I am thy fellow servant say fellow servant, fellow servant. who did the angel say he was his fellow servant meaning he was in service of the same God are you here this will matter I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book worship God he's your fellow servant and he told John to worship God mm -hmm. yep. so if John begins to worship God instead of this angel he would be a fellow servant with the angel who would also be worshiping God mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. do angels worship God God is the Spirit they that worship him angels are part of the they that it's the worship of God the Spirit in this way that makes you different than other people that don't and gives you access to things other people don't have access to they don't know what you're talking about Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve Amen. so if you were to do this verse of Scripture which is in the Bible you would be worshiping the Lord your God we've already shown is the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and him only serving would that make sense who's the only God in the earth today Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. In doing this say in doing this in doing this you are something you weren't before a Holy Ghost worshiper and have access 
to something that you didn't have access to before verse 11 then the devil leaves him and behold angels came and ministered unto him you have access to the devil's departing and angels coming and ministering to say angels coming, angels coming. and ministering to. ministering to in this room of Holy Ghost worship that you enter into and you weren't in before it's a room full of angels say room, room. full of angels. angels remember those uh, monkeys in a barrel you remember those yeah. the whole monkeys in a barrel and you pull them out this is nothing like that <laughs> but you remember that yeah. barrel o monkeys i think they called it but this room this room is full of angels because you worship the lord your god and him only began to serve angels say angels angels revelations 22 said angels were our fellow servants they worship the Lord their God and him only serve were fellow servants with the angels say I'm a fellow, I'm a fellow servant with the angels, with the angels. say the angels, the angels are fellow servants, are fellow servants with, me. with me it's just okay yeah. angels are good yeah. this room is full of angels I'm telling you Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares Did your Bible say that yes is it okay to believe that yes. well most people are unaware of their fellow servants fellow worshipers say fellow worshipers. fellow worshipers we've established that right what do angels do night and day worship. worship God and when you begin to worship God you become a fellow servant with them are we all up on the same page now most are unaware of the fellow servants but here we are encouraged to not be unaware does this make sense mm -hmm. and you don't always need to see them but you can be aware say I can be, I can be aware, aware of the angels some would say you talk too much about the angels and I say you need to read your Bible more because mm -hmm. it's replete with angelic intervention your life should be replete with angelic intervention in every way so many angels are in this room listen to me i'm telling you so many angels are in this room all kinds every purpose There's healing angels prosperity angels john chapter 5 verse 2 now there was at jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches verse 3 in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for a what an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had what kind of angel you suppose that one was there got to be a healing angel yeah the effect was being healed and often we look at the effect of the healing when we didn't look at what caused the healing what caused this angel to move or not move as is the case mm -hmm. 
most of the time now remember the angel said in revelations 22 8 and 9 worship god if you worship god you're a fellow servant with what the angels are doing when i go i worship you holy ghost i'm doing what the angels are doing well an angel said to me use these words i worship you holy ghost angel telling john to worship god angel told me use these words i worship you holy ghost sounds pretty scriptural doesn't it mm -hmm. when you come at it from this vantage point the angel came from heaven those words therefore came from heaven and use of those words will take you back there will give you access to there and back and I know this is new to a lot of people but new is just something you've never done before that's new thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve a lot of people have never done that because they don't know that the Holy Ghost is God so how can they worship him if you find out he's God you worship him and he begins to give you access to things number one the angels well uh, I could worship God if it gives me access to angels Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 and 11 when you worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve then the devils leave and the angels come and minister to you a new world reality that you didn't live in before because it's new and this new reality includes a lot of angels all different kinds there's more angels than there are demons everybody should mount the demons they leave and angels come say demons leave, demons leave. Angels, come. angels come bad good all right thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only inside only is everything angels are big on only and I'll give you some insight into why see because they're fellow servants what serving the worship of the Lord our God and him only do we serve right fellow servants mm -hmm. and they're big on only do you suppose they did that Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only serve if there are fellow servants they're doing this mm -hmm. are you here yes. revelations 12 4 speaks of one-third of the angels falling from heaven you remember this Lucifer rounded up a third of the the angels so a third of them left are you here? this is important I'm gonna show you why the only is so big with angels worship the Lord your God and him only mm -hmm. picture this one-third of their brothers of their brethren of their fellow servants left big giant hole there right people they knew angels they knew people that they fellow angels they fellowship with left and not in a good way they left in a way that bound them to eternal damnation forever very traumatizing mm -hmm. to those angels that stayed mm -hmm. very traumatic this listen this still affects them to this very day it's as if it happened yesterday it's in front of their face so when they hear the word worship the Lord your God only and him only do you serve only is a big deal I hope I'm getting this across to them only keeps you safe not eternally damned they've seen it happen they saw what happened to those who didn't worship the Lord their God only and him only serve fell off the cliff mm -hmm. and it's as if it happened to them yesterday it's right there present the angels were traumatized by it can you understand this I'll assume you do 
to them only is of the utmost importance worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve it's of the utmost important anything that even smells or is a whiff like it's not only they stand back and they'll have nothing to do with it can you see that yeah they just they won't touch it they'll leave it alone say the angels, the angels. won't touch it Matthew 12 and verse 30 says he that is not with me is against me and he that gathers not with me scatters any inkling that you might be wavering or double-minded about your onlyness with God the Holy Ghost and speaking his word what effect does that have on the angels they have nothing to do with you I'm like I'm not touching that what happened to Bob the angel and Bob the angel was bigger and stronger than me and he left <laughs> James 1 verse 7 says let not the double-minded man think that he will receive anything of God why is that if you veer from only speaking the word only worshiping the Lord your God and him only serving by speaking in agreement with his word they will hands off have nothing to do with you and I told you that one angel said to me I don't have anything to do with the people who don't worship the Holy Ghost why would that be they don't worship the Lord their God and him only, only serve nothing to do with it it wasn't me they see something wrong what do they do stand back look for the lightning bolt <laughs> they've seen the lightning bolt they won't have anything to do with you they won't touch it they revert back to being what the Bible calls a watcher just a watcher they just look at you and they wonder what your problem is <laughs> but they're not doing anything about it they're not going to help you because you didn't qualify with the only worshiping the Lord your God and him only serving are you here yes. Psalms 103 verse 20 bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength I mean they're excellent in strength mm -hmm. that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word what do angels hearken unto the voice, the voice of his word who gives voice to God's word we do. we do that's how we walk with God in the earth we speak his word and the angels hearken to it and do it what if you're double-minded in it you say his word and then you don't have anything backing it up in the rest of the day you don't say his word and then one of you say his word again what do the angels do they fold their arms wings whatever they got there and they have nothing to do with you and you wonder why it doesn't come to pass the angels hearken to the voice of God's word they're listening they're watching they're listening for what his word and then they do his word listen to this choose your angels choose your better angels choose the angels that respond to healing verses of Scripture choose the angels that respond to can I do this I know they're angels they're specified in what they do and how they do things and when I speak in agreement with God's Word what does he do what do the angels do they do that right. prosperity angels respond and do prosperity scriptures choose your better angels by the words you speak it's how we walk with God in the earth so as you're speaking God's word out your mouth the first thing that, listen the first thing the angels do 
is watch you to see whether you're going to continue speaking that word or not because mm -hmm. 99.9 percent .9 of the time guess what it's a false start mm -hmm. you stop speaking it and so they're not going to have anything to do with it they won't touch it mm -hmm. are you getting this so first they watch you to see if you're going to keep saying it and then they then then, then they critically analyze your other words and actions to see if it lines up with the word of god that you've said or not if it doesn't line up with the word of god you've said then what do they do they have nothing to do with you they won't touch it and it being you this is good news because if i do speak the word of god and i continue to speak in line with the word of god what will they do that which i've said that's in agreement with god's word very good come to the front because you are a fellow servant you are a worshiper of god and him only are you serving by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. are we getting this yes. then and then only do they begin moving on your behalf better they come and minister on behalf of the word spoken but for the most part angels have very little to do with most people can you see this mm -hmm. don't get mad at me when i say it angels have very little to do with people who aren't doing this and if you're not going to do it and be only and faithful in it you're better off not even having this information but there's a lot of angels not working mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to call your better angels your die and go to heaven angels are not good at bringing money to you mm -hmm. they're good at taking you to heaven when you die there is a specialized angel for every spoken word of god to each is given the specialization in that word they hearken mm -hmm. they excel in strength hearkening unto the voice of god's word mm -hmm. so in order to survive and indeed thrive in these last days you know we're in the last days right mm -hmm. you must up your angelic activity can you hear this yes. say i must, I must. Up, up my angelic, my angelic activity. activity you have to up yours up yours <laughs> but the end has only just begun and we can ride on the wings of those fellow servants who are here to help us don't go to the left or to the right but keep going straight ahead only worshiping the Lord our God and him only serving by speaking in agreement with his word there are glorious benefits that await you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that they have heard your word this evening and that the angels can begin to observe them and move on behalf of the words they speak release your angels into their life for they are fellow servants worshiping you holy ghost and we thank you for it in jesus name amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship God, you. I thank you that the angels are right now going out and ministering for me, bringing great increase into my life in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. right hand Holy Ghost your God